In this video, we are going to see about hypocycloid and the procedure to draw hypocycloid with a clear example. So, this is the example we are going to take. Draw a hypocycloid of a circle of 40 mm diameter which rolls inside another circle of 200 mm diameter for one revolution. Also, draw tangent and normal at any point on it. So, this is the example we are going to take. So, before starting the diagram, we need to know what is hypocycloid. So, a hypocycloid is a curve that is generated by a point on the circumference of the circle which rolls inside another circle. So, this is the directing circle. The larger circle can be called as a directing circle and the smaller circle is the rolling circle. When this circle rolls over the directing circle, a point on the circumference of the rolling circle generates a curve that is called as hypocycloid. So, here the rolling circle diameter is given as 40 mm and the directing circle diameter is given as 200 mm. So, let us start the diagram. So, as usual in uh, epicycloid, hypocycloid also before starting the diagram, we need to find a subtended angle. So, the subtended angle formula is theta equal to small r by capital R into 360. So, small r is the diameter of the rolling circle and the capital R is the diameter of the directing circle. So, here the small r is 20 mm and capital R is 100 mm. So, 20 by 100 into 360 gives 72 degree. So, this 72 degree is the subtended angle. So, let us start the diagram. First, draw a slanting line of capital R that is 100 mm. So, this line should be 100 mm line. Let us mark this as P and this as C. Then, draw one more line this side in which it should be at an angle of 70 degree with PC. So, this line also should be a 100 mm line. So, this can be named as Q. So, mark the dimension as 100 mm. Also, mark the angle as 72 degree. Okay, The 100 mm length and 72 degree angle has been marked. Then, take the compass with C as center and of radius PC, draw an arc to join Q. Draw a circle of 40 mm diameter starting from P. So you should draw the circle inside this uh, directing circle such a way that the diameter of the circle should be 40 mm. Then divide the circle into 8 equal halves. So already this line divided the circle into 2 equal halves. So likewise divide this into 4 by drawing a yeah, horizontal line and then divide this into 6 and then into 8. So, this would be evenly divided. So, better take 45 degree to draw this line between these two. So, then only we will get a, a perfect equal 8 parts of this particular circle. So, since the circle is going to roll the directing circle in this direction, you should name this as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. So, since it is rolling in this direction. See, I have named all the points as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash up to 8 dash. A dash and P is at the same point. Then mark the center as O. After that, divide this 72 degree portion, that is this uh, 72 degree portion into 8 equal halves. Since we have divided the circle into 8, we need to divide this angle also into 8. So, 72 by 8 will give us uh, 9 degree. So, divide this 72 degree line into 9 degree each, so that we can divide uh, this 72 into 8. So, I am going to divide that first 9 degree then 18 degree totally 18 so 9 9 so 2 parts already divided so likewise divide this into 8 equal halves see I have divided 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 parts then take a compass with 4 dash and CS radius draw an arc to meet CQ line similarly with 5 dash CS radius draw an arc to meet CQ line. This 5 dash and 3 dash extension arc will meet together. Similarly, with 6 dash CS radius and CS center draw an arc. So, I am going to do that. Just listen carefully. So, take a compass with C dash as center and 4 dash CS radius draw an arc up to CQ. Okay. Similarly, with 5 dash C as radius and C as center, draw one more arc up to C cube. This arc will meet 5 dash and 3. 
likewise with 6 dash and C as radius and C as center draw one more arc similarly from 7 dash and also already the arc from 8 dash has been drawn see I have drawn arcs from all the points on the circle so likewise from center also we need to draw one arc with C as center and C O as radius draw one arc to meet C Q line so we should draw an arc with C as center and C O as radius to meet C Q line so like this ok so almost we have finished the problem then so the next step is just to name all the points on the arc that is drawn from the center so since it is O we can take this as O1 this as O2 so like this this as O3 O4 O5 up to O8 see I have named all the points on the center arc as O1 up to O8 then take the compass with O1 as center and of radius of the rolling circle that is 20 mm draw an arc on 1 dash extension arc this 7 dash and 1 dash extension arc it will be somewhat here similarly with O2 as center and of same radius that is 20 mm draw an arc on 2 dash extension arc it is here so with this as center draw an arc on the same radius it will be here similarly with O3 as center and of same radius that is the radius of the rolling circle 20 draw an arc on 3 dash extension arc so this is the 3 dash extension arc it will be probably here similarly with O4 as center draw an arc on 4 dash extension arc of same radius so similarly with O5 as center and of same radius draw an arc on 5 dash extension arc it will be this arc so O6 as center and of same radius draw an arc on 6 dash extension arc and O7 as center and of same radius draw an arc on the 7 dash extension arc it will be here similarly at last with O8 as center and of same radius draw an arc on 8 dash extension arc it will be here so it will exactly meet at Q so that's all we have uh, marked all the arcs uh, then uh, we can name this arc as uh, P1 and this as P2, P3, P4 so up to P8 then take a pencil that is HB pencil join P and P1 then P1 to P2 so likewise smoothly join all the curves to form a hypocycloid so join P, P1 then P1 to P2 so like that smoothly join all the curves to form hypocycloid see the smooth hypocycloidal curve has been formed by joining P, P1 P1 to P2 P2 to P3 P3 to P4 then P5, P6, P7, P8 so you should uh, use uh, HP pencil to draw this curve so this is hypocycloidal curve so then in the question they have asked to draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve so mark any point over the curve you can mark anywhere you want so I am going to mark here so this is the point I have marked let this be named as M then with M as center and of radius of the rolling circle that is 20 mm draw an arc on the center extension arc which is uh, drawn in red color we should draw with M as center and of radius 20 mm draw an arc on the center extension line it will be here so let us mark this as F then join F C and extend that line up to P Q so up to here so let us mark this as E ok so from E draw a line crossing M and extend the same line to form not join E M and extend that line to some extent let this be named as L E L is the normal then draw a tangent that is perpendicular to E L so draw a straight line that is perpendicular to E L crossing M that flows smoothly over the curve 
such that it should be a tangent. So this can be named as T and G. And T G is tangent, E L is normal. So that's all. We have drawn the required hypocycloidal curve as per the given dimension. So as usual in the paper, just here write all dimensions are in M M and write down the subtended angle calculation and write what is tangent and what is normal. That is E L is normal, T G equal to tangent. Thank you. In next video, we will see about projection of straight lines. Thank you.